guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I've already prepped my eyes like I did in my previous video, and I'm now going into my crease with Peaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. We're just going to buff that in nice and slowly. And then with a pencil brush, we're just going to go just above our crease with the shade Bitten, also by Makeup Geek. And um, we're going to brush that out with a big fluffy brush. All the shadows that I'm going to be using in this tutorial are all going to be Makeup Geek, apart from the nice shimmery colour that we've got on the lid. So as we're just buffing that out, as we do, making sure that it's all blended and we've got no harsh lines when you're happy with the desired look or the desired gradient, we're going to be adding a darker colour just in our inner corner, not inner corner, our outer corner, um, to make sure that it's all ready for when we do a half cut crease. So with this I've actually used my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer on a angled brush and this is just a brush that I find comfortable with. I know a lot of people tend to use, you know, like a flat brush, that kind of thing. So make sure that you're using a brush that you're comfortable with. And then once you've done that, you're gonna set it with any kind of translucent powder. I prefer to use my Laura Mercier just because it doesn't crease. So then with that, we're then gonna use our disgusting grotty little fingers that I haven't painted. Um, we're just gonna get that color from the Laura Lee palette and I cannot remember what the shade is called, so I do apologize about that. So once you've done that, you're gonna really sharpen the edges just with any kind of flat brush, which is what you can see here. And then we're gonna go back in with that dark shade, which I forgot to actually tell you what the shade was. It's Cherry Cola by Makeup Geek. And then we're just gonna make sure you've got that nice gradient. And then I picked up a silver glitter from NYX on a teeny tiny, teeny little brush and some eyelash glue just to give that half cut crease but we're only going to go three quarters of the way and then after that we're going to go in with the foundation um it actually looks like i'm wanting to punch myself in the face with this so i do apologize like i was so scared that i wasn't gonna have enough storage on my phone so i was trying to do like my face as quickly as possible um but that is the nars sheer glow foundation in the shade barcelona with my beauty blender which is now my new best friend i absolutely love this sponge more than anything in the entire world just making sure that we're blending down the neck because I decided to not fake tan this week which is why I'm going down on that neck pretty heavy so I'm just going to carry on doing my forehead and you know again violently pushing that foundation into my skin so once everything is nice and evenly blended we are then going to go on to concealer and we're using the same concealer that we did to use that cut crease which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer um, I'm really running out like it's actually becoming a joke how much of my makeup is just deciding to run out which is really annoying so then we're just going to blend that out nice and evenly as you can see i'm not being as aggressive this time so then after that we're then going to bake and by this point i actually realized that i put way too much on um <clears throat> decided to not make the error of putting it onto a palette that i'm gonna then use later on so um i just did it out of the container and i just decided that I was just going to cake my face in it. So that is just the RCMA no colour powder and then I just do the little bit in my forehead as well just because I tend to get quite oily on my forehead and then we're going to contour with the sleek contour kit which is going to use that dark cool tone colour that you know I all love. So then I'm just going to do that on my cheekbones and then on my forehead, down the side of my nose and you know all that good stuff. So once we've bronzed and contoured and all of that, we're then going to go into my favourite glow kit at the minute. Well, I say at the minute, ever since I've bought it, it's kind of really the only one that I've ever really reached to. Like I know I tend to use it on a day-to-day -day basis at work and I tend to go for my ultimate glow kit when I go out because it's a bit more glittery. So I'm just going to go in with the ABH glow kit in Sun Dipped in the shade Summer. Um, just because it really complements my skin tone. I tend to normally go for Moonstone sometimes, but because it's quite peachy, um, it doesn't really go with all the makeup looks that I use, so that's kind of like my go-to colour. I haven't really reached for anything else since I got it. So once I finished drowning myself in highlight, um, I just off camera decided to stick on a couple of face gems that I got from a previous festival, spraying myself with that Urban Decay, and that's kind of it. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. You know how it is. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to do next. Bye!